Okay. Well, this seems to be a very complicated problem. I don't think so. As you solve it, you'll find that it's pretty easy and simple. Combined receipts of an artist and a dancer in the first week and the second week in each of the city A, B, C and D are as under. So you are given the combined weekly receipt of two people who perform, one of whom is an artist, the other one is a dancer, in four cities A, B, C and D in week 1 and week 2. You are required to find out the following. So here is how the practical application of matrix come in. You are given certain questions but you have to find out certain answers. Total collection of artist and a dancer in the first week and in the second week in each of the city. So you need to find out city wise total collection of the artist and the dancer in the week 1 and week 2. So let's say we represent total collection of artist and dancer in the form of a matrix. Now to do the additions we need to have the orders at same. So if you see the order of these two matrix is the same. 2 by 4 2 by 4 okay so if you see what will be the total collection of the artist A, B, C, D what will be the total collection of artist in city A in week 1 plus week 2 so in week A or week 1 he earned 60 in city A and in week 2 he earned 15 in city A so his total collection in the city A in week 1 plus week 2 is going to be the sum of these two which is 60 plus 15 or 75 similarly the total collection of the artist in city B will be 70 plus 20 which is 90 similarly artist in city C will be 40 plus 25 65. Similarly, the artist in city D will be 20 plus 30, 50. Right? So, this basically now you have for the artist, you have city wise earning made by him during week 1 and week 2, total collection of artist and dancer in the first week and the second week in each of the city so you had to find it out in each of the city just like you got it for the artist you can do the sum for dancer as well so 80 plus 20 gives you 100 50 plus 25 gives you 75 30 plus 30 gives you 60 and 10 plus 35 gives you 45 so you've got your answer to the A part right let's now look at part B find difference in collection between the two weeks and interpret the results now what do you mean by difference difference is basically subtraction so they are saying can you find out the difference in collection between two weeks? So week one minus week two. Right? Again, you have the artist, you have the dancer, you have A C T, B C T, C C T, and D C T. So let's subtract. Again, the order has to be same, which is the case here. You have two rows and four columns in each one of them. So we start with the subtraction. Now 60 minus 15 gives you 45. 70 minus 20 gives you 50. 40 minus 25 gives you 15. 20 minus 30 gives you minus 10. 
80 minus 20 gives you 60, 50 minus 25 gives you 25, 30 minus 30 gives you 0, 10 minus 25 gives you minus 35 gives you minus 25. Okay? Now, what they are also saying is, can you please interpret the results for us? Now, if you see the collection in week 1 minus week 2 is what we are doing. So, wherever these collections are positive, we say that the collections in week 1 were more than collections in week 2 in city A for both the artist and the dancer, in city B for both the artist and the dancer and in city C only for the artist. For the dancer in city C there was no change in the collections and what we say is that for city D in week 2 the collections have actually increased. Why? Because when you subtract the second week collections from week 1 you get negative number. So if you see also 30 is greater than 20 and 35 is greater than 10. So this being negative shows that the collections have increased in city D in week 2. Right? Now let's see the third part of the question. If both of them spend 40% of the collections on expenses, what is the gross profit for week 2? Well, let's find this out as well. I guess I can do it here only. Don't need to get an additional page out here. Now, if they spend 40% of collections on expenses, then their profit is equal to how much? Profit is equal to how much? Selling price minus cost or 100 minus 40 because 40% is the expenses, 60% or 0 0.6 times sales or collections as you might call it. So the profit of week 2 is equal to 0 0.6 into collections. What are the collections? 15 20, 20, 25, 25, 30, 30, and 35. Right? As you multiply this, what do you get? You get 9 here, you get 12 here, you get 12 here, you get uh, 15 here, right? Again, 15 here, 18 here, 18 here, and 21 here. I've just done these multiplication quickly, but if you see independently, I'll just show you one of them. When we multiply the matrix by a scalar, you need to multiply the scalar by each of the items. So 0 0.6 into 15 gives you 9, 0 0.6 into 20 gives you 12, and similarly, you can do the others. So 0 0.6 into 20 again gives you 12, 0 0.6 into 25, 15, and so on. So the profit for week 2 are 9, 12, 12, 15, 15, 18, and and you can just write A, B, C, D as the city here and the artist and the dancer here. Right? 